All right, just a few days after getting back from VidCon, I had a friend from out of town stay with me for a week. So instead of spending the past week planning and painting a thoughtful video for you, I spent it with my friend. You're very important to me, but anyway. While they were here, I was invited to go to the Seattle Underground Tour with them. I'm not sure if this is true for all people who live near touristy type destinations, but seeing as I was born, although not raised, in Seattle, I've never really done the touristy things. Like touring the Seattle Underground. There are paranormal tours and quote-unquote mature underworld tours, but the one I joined was pretty tame, the historic tour. I learned things like the only reason the whole city even has an underground in the first place is because it was originally built on a horrible marshy flooding beach, and that it was originally built without any type of sewage system, and that the underground walkways were officially condemned because there were so many rats they feared the plague. So my fascinated with the gross and infested self loved it, and I drew a rat. <laughs> I felt like doing a larger scale piece, which also feels kind of silly considering I gave myself an hour to start and finish it because to be honest, I'm filming and voicing and editing this whole video all in the same day. As I said, I spent my planning time with a friend. My dapper rat felt appropriate for a classy historical tour of the underground. I used a few references for the clothes, which are like early 1900s sort of clothing, and the ears and sort of face of the rat as well. But as I gave myself a time limit, I wasn't going for anything perfect. Then I had to include the purple tiles behind him as well. Again, I've lived in Seattle for a while, but I've never known exactly what the colored street tiles were for. I knew they signified an older building or place, but never guessed that they were skylights to the underground. Skylights to a place where, as the tour guide pointed out, and then tested, no one can hear you scream. Yeah, for help. I'm three, see what happens. Big loud voice, ready? One, two, three! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Great! You can even see people walking past overhead, which is really cool, and also just a little bit disturbing after the screaming exercise. I learned not too long after that the reason the underground was finally closed over and condemned was for fear of the sea of rats flooding storerooms and how they could very possibly carry the plague. Unlike my last piece, I don't think this is one of the best pieces I've ever made, but it was fun working with a time constraint. Maybe I'll do some sort of time challenge in the future. And it was fun working with a medium I don't usually use. This is soft chalk pastel, which is like oddly specific, but pastels basically, which I love the feeling of, but haven't quite figured out how to get the look that I want out of them. Oh well, I love you. I hope you enjoy it. Give John, my dapper rat, a like if you like him and his hint of very subtle blush. And subscribe if you want to see me explore and make art and usually make videos that feature a script I'm not writing at 3 a.m. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Did you almost die? I got so close. <laughs>